my name is Mira, this is Emma, and I'm going to teach her the boreboard lesson. Okay, Emma, this is our boreboard. The boreboard is used to make an atom, the atom card right here. Inside the atom, there is the nucleus. This is our nucleus. And farther inside the nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. These are our protons, these blue marbles here. And the clear marbles are our neutrons. Protons have a positive charge. Neutrons have neutral or no charge. Okay, on the outside of the nucleus, on these lines here, which are the electron shell, there are electrons. We're gonna use these red marbles for electrons. All right, do you have any questions about that? No. Nope. All right, then let me spread them out evenly. Pick one of these cards. That is sulfur. Its number on the periodic table is 16. So can you try and find that? What? There? Yeah, good job. Okay, I also have sulfur in this element book. I'll turn that towards you. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, sulfur. This is sulfur. Oops. And... Um, it just has a lot of information about it and um, things that it's used in. It also, if you're probably wondering why it's a picture of an onion, um, sulfur has like a really bad smell. It, it's, people say it reminds them of onions. Right, I'll leave that there if you want to look at it. Okay, the next step is to make our atom. What we need to do is count out 16 protons, neutrons, and electrons. And it's 16 because if you look at the card, it says that the atomic number is 16 right here. All right, can you count out 16 electrons? And when you're done counting them, just put them in the lid here. And don't do anything with them because I'll tell you what we need. I'm going to count out protons and neutrons and put them in the nucleus because that's where they go. I need to put neutrons in there to balance the nucleus out. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. So now we have counted out protons, neutrons, and electrons. All right. I put the protons and neutrons in the nucleus. And with the electron, do you remember where they go? So they'll go on the electron shell. Yeah. And um, I would think that you would just randomly put them on there. But what we have to do is look at the sulfur card. And we always want to balance it out. No matter what we put on the boreboard, it has to be balanced. Otherwise, the atom becomes radioactive. So. What we're going to do is look at the first number up here in the corner. Do you know that? Two. All right, two. What we need to do is, I'll show you the first row. You can stand up for this if you want to look over in the top. In the first circle here, there are two holes. And they're on the opposite side of the nucleus. That's, they're not next to each other. They're on the opposite side so they can be balanced. All right? The next number is eight. Okay, so can you balance them out on the next ring using eight electrons? Good job. Even if there are only eight holes, it's important that you balance them out as you go. Good job. Okay, and the next number is six. All right, I think you got one too many there. Yeah. All right, so can you put six electrons equally on that layer of the electron shell, like you just did, only using six? I'm going to move this to here. 
I always remember it when you first do that. You can do that one over here. When you put um, your first four down, I always remember that like an X sort of. There'll be a line here and a line there. Or a plus sign. The next two down, so they're balanced. Nice job, that looks really good. All right, so if you look over the top, if we split it down in the middle, or if we split it this way, I'm guessing, it'll be symmetrical. And that's, when, that's what's important. So um, it's balanced, really. All right, Emma, nice job. You just made an atom of the element sulfur.